As I mentioned, there's two parts to this report. One is the Data Studio template, which I'm going to get to in a minute. The other one is a Google Sheets automation file, which pulls data from SCM Rush and Google Analytics. And what it does is it crosswalks organic traffic data with keyword ranking data. There's no other report on the web that does this. It's very powerful. And I apologize because this video is going to be a little bit dry, but I have to show you how to use it and how to run it in order for you to do it effectively. So that's what this video is going to be about from here on out. So this first page here walks you through how to do it, the getting started tab. If you don't have SCM Rush, you really need it. Uh, I'm going to be using the API, but if you don't want to get the API because it's 400 bucks a month, you just need to get it. It's an incredible tool. I strongly suggest it. You can buy it through this link right here. You also need Google Analytics and then Supermetrics, which is a free tool that uh, an add on to Google Sheets, which is going to allow us to automatically pull APIs from analytics and SCM Rush. So anything outlined down here in red, these cells you do not need to touch. It's automatically populated by this sheet. But anything in green, any of these things highlighted in green like these here, you need to fill in manually. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pull. Well, if you don't have again, if you don't have Supermetrics installed, install it. Uh, once you have it installed, what we're going to do is we're going to navigate here to the GA MOM tab and we're going to go to cell B1. So I highlighted it here in green for you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to add ons. You're going to go to super metrics and you're going to click launch sidebar. And you can see here if you're running this report uh, month over month or for multiple websites, you're going to have data in here. That's fine. You can ignore that. Uh, and what you can do is make sure that you're on the right source. And again, if you have data in here, this screen is going to pop up. You're just going to go to modify. Make sure that it's pulling from the right source. Make sure that it's a website. I'm going to do this for Webris so you can see here all the other websites. Just select the analytics property that you need and then the date. So I'm going to run this for March and then you're going to make sure that it's set to previous period of or uh, of same length and then percentage change. Make sure the metric is sessions here. Sorry, I'm skipping around split by landing page patch. Make th sure the segment is for organic traffic. No filter. Uh, and then all this is good. And then we're just going to click apply changes and it's going to run here on the side. And that's also going to run up here. I'm just going to quickly fast forward this video while it does it. So you can see up here, this query was completed successfully. I'm just going to close this. You can see the sheet is still loading because there's this uh, formula over here in array form formula, which is taking the landing page path from analytics and mapping it to the full URL. But we'll talk about that in a second too. Next, we're going to go to GA year over year. So this is looking at year over year data and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to open up super metrics launch sidebar and again what this is doing this is pulling data from google analytics and putting it into the spreadsheet here calculating the sessions and the percentage change so we're gonna do the exact same thing here except and click modify on the dates i'm gonna have it the same date 301 from march to 331 and then same dates a year ago and then i'm gonna click apply changes and i'm gonna let this run Query completed successfully. I'm going to come back here to the getting started tab. That's done. You can see here it pulled through all the pages with organic traffic. We do not need to change that. Now we're going to get the SEM rush data. So if you've run this report before, this tab here in red called SEM rush organic, if you are using the API, you need to clear this out. So anything from cell, let me just close this, anything from cell two and down, we need to delete. Okay, so I just deleted that. I'm going to let it load. Now, again, this is uh, a little bit complicated. If you have the S key uh, down here, you're going to fill in this green. You're going to put the AP, API key in here. If you do not have the API, you're going to select manual. And if you select manual, I'll show you how to do that one second. But all you're going to do is you're going to put in your domain name here, the home page with no trailing slash, and then the start date to run and the end date to run. So I'm going to run this for, um, let's say the campaign began in January if I'm running this for the client. The end date is March. Again, I'm using the API. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here to where it says monthly reporting and I'm just going to click import SEM rush and it's going to say running script up here. Just leave it until this is completed and everything is pulled through. So this script is still running, but I'm just going to quickly show you if you do not have the API, which I'm sure a lot of people will not, then you're what you're going to do is you're over here you're going to select manual. I'm not going to do it because the script is still running, but then what you're going to do is again. So if you're running this for a three month period, then you're going to slide January, February and March here from the drop down. And what you're going to do is you're going to put in the website into SCM rush and then click on uh, organic research over here. While well, I'm in the UK, let me just get back to the US. And then what I'm going to do is I have to manually export this data. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to go to the first month, which was what did I say January, I'm going to click here. And what this does is this pulls down the historical data from January, and then you're just going to go to export, export all as a CSV. 
And then once this pulls down, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open it and you're gonna copy it and you're gonna paste it all the way in here into the campaign start month. So again, so the campaign start month was January. I'm just gonna paste over this. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the data from the last month. So if I'm running this for March, I'm gonna pull the data for February and I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna export it and I'm gonna paste it in here. And then I'm gonna do it for the current month. So I'm running this report for March. I'm just gonna click on March. I'm gonna export that. I'm gonna pull it out from the CSV. I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it. I'm just gonna cancel this because it's slowing my shit down. Okay. So the script is still running here. I'm just gonna give it a... Okay, so you can see the script is finished. It's still doing some calculations up here, but we can go ahead and start moving on to the next section. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up here to monthly reporting and we're gonna aggregate the Google Analytics in, in SEMrush data. So I'm just gonna click this where it says aggregate data and I'm gonna let it run the script. Now that that's done, what we wanna do is we wanna enter some target pages. So. What I have here is um, you just have to enter the path, which means without the URL in here. So what these target pages are is we, these are the pages that we really want to focus on for SEO. These are the pages that we really want to track in terms of traffic, in terms of keyword rankings. So you're just going to enter the page path in here. You can enter as many as you want, and then it'll pull through here how many you have in there. And then finally, what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and select the month that you want this to be run for. And after that, all the key, all everything is calculated. So everything in green here, these are the reports that come through. So this is a visibility report. This is looking at keyword rankings, top three, top ten, total. Uh, this month's last month campaign start, really cool stuff. You can check it out. Visibility. This is looking at page URL keyword, top keywords, keywords that are in trouble. This one is looking at top landing pages month over month, and then it's crosswalked with the data from SEM Rush. And then these are the target pages. This is month over month and year over year changes. And what these are looking at is your target pages and how those are performing and it's pulling through keyword ranking data if there's any. So some of these pages you can see have no keyword rankings because they're not really getting any traffic and they're not ranking. But the ones that are, you can see where they're going and how they're performing over time. So this alone in itself is a really good standalone report. But how we use this is we actually feed this through into our data studio template and we push them into the target pages report here and we pet push them into the organic visibility report, which I'll talk about in a second. So now let's come over here and let's talk about this data studio template and how you can run it. So the first.